Hello everybody and welcome back to Undermine the Crystalline Update. In the previous episode, we decided to do a gold run and also try to beat the boss. We got to the boss with glass cannon and a bunch of cases. It didn't really go very well, but we did make a shit ton of money. So we're going to buy our last upgrade ever. I'm pretty sure that means we have everything available to purchase now. So now we'll go for these. Um, I'm going to stick with Sylph for this run, I think. I think that Sylph is going to be a good idea for us. We are going to go with Cleave. And I'm going to try and make Cleave work. I'm going to try and stack that up as much as we can. Can. The ideal scenario would be that we get Cleave as our level 3 breath blessing. Um, and then I'm going to go with Lucky Charm as well. Craft up Lucky Charm. I'm actually just going to craft up the next one because I don't know when I'd ever take that in with me. So I'm just going to craft that up and let the Pilfers take it into the mines for us. Thank you, thank you. Um, and then I'm also going to go into the shop and have a little look-see about uh, what potion we can brew up and take with us. Let's go with... Create a circle of healing, I guess. And again, I'm just going to craft the other two. I don't see any other time that I'd uh, that I'd carry both of them down with me. So, Unless I can take all of them. I don't think I can. Though. No. They, they do just get taken. Cool. I'm happy with that. Everything has been taken. We're ready to go. But basically, Cleave makes it so we swing a little bit bigger. We are going to be trying to build on that as much as possible. Let's hope for a really good blessing, but not one to do with bombs to, for our first triple. And we get Savagery 3, honestly. You guys know I am a savage motherfucker, and I love myself some savagery. We're starting with five bombs, one key. That's pretty damn good. Um, I do indeed want to get in on that. Definitely, because that can contain items. And we want to be unlocking items as much as possible. I will spend two bombs to get that. And there you go. Worth it straight away. Pilfer credit card. Honestly... Probably not an item I'll, I'll unlock for a little bit. Basically, adds a, a way to lend and b or borrow money into the game. It like it costs you like three coins, literally three, like nothing. Costs you absolutely nothing to buy, but um, it gives you ten thousand, but you have to pay it back if you don't pay it off in the next run. I think, but we won't, often won't need that. Often won't need it. Getting keys there is great. Seer bombs. I really don't like Seer Bombs. They are pretty dangerous, but at the same time, it gives us a free bomb, and it can probably be re-rolled at a later date, so I don't mind getting them too much. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Can you not game? Thank you. Bit of healing there. Lovely. So, not going to be too bothered about gold this time around, as you can see. 57,000 gold. We really don't need to get gold unless we're doing a gold run. So, for the most part, we're going to be absolutely fine here, as you can see. The beauty within of Cleave hitting everything in the room. Right. Let's go for it. Please have Cleave. Do you know what? I'm going to start off with a Fortitude. Reduce damage by 10%. That is great for us. And of course, this is going to level up Sylph, our pet. Our little, our little chonkers. Going to remove Curses for a bit cheap to start with here. So, we just got a potion there. And a key. Don't want him to destroy that. I will try to get him to destroy everything else in the room, though. I don't think there's any uh, secret rooms he can get here. There you go. Get him to destroy these last few bits and bobs. Because he can get potions, as, as we've just seen. He does that sometimes. He'll get caught on a wall he's right next to. It's pretty weird. Right, come over here. Destroy these last ones. And there you go. Got an extra key out of it. And your usefulness is up. Oh my god. The game. It's too generous. But don't stop, though. Although, situations like this, I can't pass up on. I can't pass up on not getting the gold. It's too easy to get. There you go. Let's hop down. Ah, oh, here we go. Want to be getting to our shops as quick as possible. This is hopefully going to gonna be a run. As long as we can get some of the potions and items we need where we can beat Ponzu. Especially with having Lucky Charm. Lucky Charm is a chance to revive. It's not a good chance. It's like, it's like having Guppy's Collar and Isaac. It will help us every now and again. It's not guaranteed by any means, though. And oh my god. Bad room for the rats here. Bad room for the rats. And another key. Oh, wowee. Right. This is going to be bad. This is going to be a bad room for us. I can see it now. Oh, my God. I was jumping around too much to get out of the way of the um, them guys. And it, it, it definitely hindered me there. Wow, we just get hit by every single arrow. I want to I wanna see that again. <laughs> there you go, he's gone, he's gone. Ah, we got hit by one of them, it's fine. Oop, go to the dead end room first. I'm getting better at that now. Hmm, I will definitely take the trip around here to get to that. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry about it. It wasn't worth it. 
it decidedly was not worth it. Let's just see how this works. It only heals two at a time. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's terrible. Walk away. Don't think so. Cycle of healing my ass. That's a terrible potion. Up in the secret room forest. We know it's there. It's not there. The game has betrayed me. <gasps> Meat to heal up that one damage I had. <laughs> Let's get in here. Righty ho then. Oh, yes. Love getting things like the tunic early, especially with seer bombs. Makes burning myself, which I will inevitably do, much less scary. Oh, yes. 100 crit. Love myself some savagery. Apparently savagery is a 5% critical damage increase. But it's not insane by any means. This guy, I think he still can open a secret room here, so I'm going to keep him around for a little bit longer. I think he missed this one, so let's try him out again. Nope. No secret room for Bubba. He did still hit me there, though. Right. Shoppy, shoppy, shoppy. What do you got for me? Got some good opening stuff. Gold duplicator. That starts us off on the right foot, I think. And I will do a reroll here. Unfortunately, nothing really too big for us here. Let's just head down to the next floor. Nothing much this floor. We missed out on some secret rooms there, but again, in these early floors, I'm not going to spend forever looking for them. We can min-max all we want, but... At the end of the day, it's not going to give us that big of a reward. And all it's going to do is, is make the run be a lot, lot longer. So I don't want to do that too much. Right. Now, is Burbo going to be able to find us anything in this room? I don't think he is. Let's get him to destroy these rocks. There you go. This one as well. And then we can just kill him. There we go. Don't think he can find much more for us there. He is only useful for destroying rocks and maybe getting the secret room wall, but honestly, secret room wall's hardly ever there. Right, let's just try that up. Oh, a free gold chest. I will take. And it cooked our food for us, too. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, getting gold double so early basically just means we'll recuperate all of our losses throughout the course of this run. Anything we, we spend will most likely end up making back. Hopefully, some excess on top of that, too. Got him. Thanks for letting me out. Now that's beautiful. Oh, I did get poisoned there. Oh, I got poisoned again. Only brief poisoning, though. <gasps> Only a small poisoning. And Iron Branch there is actually really, really nice for uh, our swing-based build here. Swing damage, swing speed. I love a bit of swing speed. Exuberance is the spice of life. Uh, I'm going to try and go to our shop before we go there, just to see if we can get... Um, Damn it. Yeah, we're going to try and go to our shop first to see if we get any biscuits. I'd rather, obviously, use that after we get biscuits if that's going to be the case. Might not be, but we shall see. It's not going to take us too much more time to check. And you will give us... Probably one of the worst shops I've seen in a long time. That shop is almost worthless. Wow, that's a bad shop. With no option to reroll. That is a bad shop. Please give us cleave size. Please give us cleave size. Please give us cleave size. Damn you. I'll go for exuberance, though. Need me some exuberance. Gotta get them swings fast. I like to get at least four. Savagery, I want really high up. Knowing that it's only 5% critical chance, we've got an extra 15% chance of crit. I want at least an extra 30% chance. We need at least six savagery. Open that up. What you got in here for, my gold man? Ugh. I'm fine, thank you. I will try and reroll you at some point because that is not really very good at all. I do think that's a secret room as well, so I'll check that. Okay, hey, hey. The boy was right. Damn it. Nothing. Your shit. Your absolute shit. Alright. Oh my god. The, the saw blade went around a bit faster than I thought it would there. 
Don't think you can jump on me, you hippity hoppity bitch. We got ourselves a cursed um, fire there. Do we want that? I don't think so. Ah. Damn you, how do you still hit me? There's so many of these bastard flies. Get one of them. Push you off the edge. Ah, oh, I just killed him. I wanted to humili humiliate him, not just kill him. Get that guy out to the fire. There we go. We're getting somewhere with this now. The swing. If we get a crit, it's so nice. That's why I want higher crit chance. Crits are one-shotting right now. Are they big. We got some big crits, boy. Ow. Hello. What do you offer me? Golden Delicious, pill from a bottle. Golden Delicious is technically a relic, I think. I want to go for something bigger. Pill from a bottle, I will take for later. The bomb bags, I will take. But these two, I'm going to reroll. Float boots, I'll take. The lava walkers, I'm not going to take. I'm going to try and transmute. And that, I'm very happy with too. Lots of extra HP. Basically, getting that extra HP there means we don't have to put as much into getting the HP blessing later on when it shows up. It saves us like three or four HP blessing takes, which is really nice because we can take more damage, that means. I see you in there, shaking that ass. Open this up. And we got a free chest in a bottle. Open up the chest in the bottle. And golden chest. Yeah, yeah. Basically got all the money we just spent in the shop back. If that fucking pilfer doesn't steal my big bits. Hey, my big bits. He took one of the really big ones. That's a shame. We'll make it back, don't worry. We'll make it back. Right, what we got in there for us? Nothing. Racist. Um, we don't need to do this boss, do we? So we'll just use it to travel over to the other area. We've got every single boss done apart from the last one. We don't need to worry about bosses at all. That's a good and bad thing. It means we're not going to be earning as much money this run. Uh, really because we're not going to be getting the boss money. Which is like over the course of an entire run. Boss money. If you include the last boss now, it's probably like over 100,000. Um, but that's fine. Don't bother me too much. Right. We're doing so much damage already, it's great. We're already stacking it, stacking it up. What you got for us then? A bomb bag. Gold doubler, that's good. Definitely take the gold doubler. God knows that's always useful. Um, a bit more exuberance, I guess. Sadly, no biscuits yet. Got a single bicky. Um, I will take a curse removal, and I'll take that as well. I'll, I'll, I'll chop these down. I'll do these. We've got gold doubler, so it's probably worth it. I'll start collecting gold now. I just want pilfering. Make my life easy again. Make my life an easy boy. Right. Oh, there you go. There's some biscuits. Didn't mean to open that second chest, but I'm not exactly sad that I did. So, it's annoying that we just got biscuits after using the shrine. That's why I should have waited. But it's good to know we've got them now. Right. Ow. I knew I was going to get hit there. Got you. I think I accidentally zapped one of those when I was hitting one of the others. That's annoying. Oh, God damn it. The waiting. Stupid. At least we're critting that boy. Getting him dead quick. Ah, fuck. Can't believe you've done this. We definitely need some health here. It's like we still haven't got another cleave yet as well, which is saddening to me. I want more cleave. I know it's one of the rarer blessings, but still. I want more cleave. Salamander's tail. Yes, please. That really helps us out in the last run, so I'm happy to have it. Seems to almost always be a good get. Did get poisoned there. Not good. Got 
him. And apparently fire's not going to get you there. Uh, I will plant a bomb on that. You'd think that bomb would destroy all those rocks, but apparently not. And we got a bomb back and some money. Well worth it. We do have float boosts as well, got to remember that. Getting over gaps is a little easier for us. Money grubbers. I think we just got like bat off so many pilfers as an achievement. Right. Good, good, good. We definitely need to get some HP on this next floor. Buy up the uh, the shop stock of foodies. We also, we've got an achievement for breaking so many signs. I can't remember if I've already got that one or not. I was looking through the achievements today and just seeing which ones I had, I, I like, I need to get still. Obviously, there's all the ones that you have to do, like, do so much without upgrades. One of them's beat Ponzu without upgrades. Fuck that, my god. That means without buying any of the upgrades, like, that are in the, um, the home hub area. Like, all these pickaxe damage upgrades and stuff. God damn. God damn. Oh my god, I just took so much damage to them spikes. Please, HP. Save me, Jeebus. Right. I'm gonna go full on HP here. Wrong one. Always buy keys. And I'm gonna reroll meal ticket. No, no, no. I'm not gonna do any more reroll in there. Gold tooth, pretty good. Pretty happy with gold tooth. Allows for a bit more healing in the future. And get a removal of that curse so we can stack them a bit higher. And we've got a secret room here as well. I almost missed that boy, but I got it. Don't worry. Ugh. Seer bombs. Why do you have to wait? Make me wait every time I open a secret room. Ugh. Actually, I don't have any curses right now. I'll do it. And we got cheaper shops for a lot less swing damage. Probably not worth it. We can get rid of that this floor, though, I think. And we can use biscuits in the in the same time as well. But yeah, getting slightly cheaper shops. Not a big concern for us, but I can't really complain at cheaper shops, can I? Alright. Should be able to kill... Yeah, I was just about to say, I should be able to kill all of us before he even gets a chance to swing at us. And we did. Do you know what? I left, um, I left an item on the last floor. What was it? I can't remember now. It was such a forgettable item. What the hell was it? I just left it in the item room. I'm not that bothered because it, because it obviously this was something I don't want. Whaling boots. God's sake, I don't want whaling boots. They shit, boy. They shit. God, I'm noticing that damage reduction right now. Noticing it bigly. What the hell was it? I'm going to have to have a proper think. What the hell was that item? I'm so forgetful. Um, I'm actually going to go and look at the Undermine. The Undermine wiki to have a look-see. See if I can find out. Relics. What the fuck was it? Um, oh, oh, it was Conductor. It was Conductor. The one where when we pick up gold, it electrocutes things. Yeah, I literally don't give a shit that I don't have that. It means nothing to me. Same with whaling boots, really. If I don't end up, if I if I if I forget about them, I'll try not to. But if I forget about them, I literally don't care. Right, let's go remove a curse. Unless unless it's like big cleave, then I'll go for big cleave. Yeah, just remove a curse. <gasps> I'm so dumb. Oh, don't judge me, please. Please don't judge me. I'm so stupid. I didn't fucking use my biscuits. God damn it. Sorry, self. I know this is a missed opportunity for you, but I'm sorry. We could be so much more. But I'm dumb. No, for both of these. We have the keys. We have the ability to do so. God damn, I'm so sad. I don't care about that potion either. I'm so sad. Give me them whaling boots. I don't forget them too. Forgetting an item, pretty stupid. Then forgetting uh, 
Something else on top of that. Forgetting to use my biscuits on top of that. It just dumb, boy. It just dumb. Extra XP, it's free. It's literally free. God damn it. Don't worry, we'll get Cosmic Egg next floor. I promise you. Cosmic Egg or quit. If I don't get Cosmic Egg, you can all stop watching. No, please don't. Wow. You guys are going down fast. Good, good, good. Please, Cosmic Egg. Shop in a shop. I can go for a shop in a shop. Give me that too. Yeah, let's do some shop in a shop business. Give me the shop in a shop in a shop. Now that's the real business. Got a cash removal that I don't really need. Let's use this now, see if we can get him. Do you wanna... Do you wanna stop? I just destroyed like half the shop for that. And got nothing out of it apart from obviously lots of gold, but that was very annoying. Like, I literally destroyed the cash removal portion that I released that guy for. Dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Come on, then. Let's go back up here. I will buy your fish as well. Sad times. Sad times. Right, let's keep going. Don't care about your gold, boy. Yeah, get get over here. I really wanted to kind of push him into that and set him on fire and kill him, but didn't quite work. Haha. -ha. Oh shit, that- Oh my god. So dumb. I thought that was going to kill him. Stop it. I thought the one swipe would kill that guy. Ugh, these are better. But stop giving me shit that I can't use. This this run is just not going my way at all. I keep forgetting stuff. I'm terrible at everything. And my life is falling into pieces. Give me all that gold, boy. And we got no extra cleave size yet. What's going on with the cleave size? Oh my god, there's three of them. What is this? Thank god we have the big fucking damage. Otherwise, that was going to be a pain in the ass room. Wow. Hey, I love this game. Yes, of course. 400 is cheap as shit. What do we get there? We got a recipe of some kind. And... Not much else I want. I just want the I just want the recipe. Go a diagonal pattern. Crap. Crap. Oh my god, you terrible human. <gasps> nope. Biscuit time. Biscuit time. Get some more damage. Right, down to the next floor. Let's do it. God damn, I feel dumb. Everything about this run is making me feel dumb. I can't believe I got to, had to lose out on my bomb there as well. Not my bomb. Yeah, well, it was a bomb. It was my fire bombs. Couldn't re them into anything or anything like that. Just a waste of an item. Right, crit you and try and kill you before you jump. Wow, you've really filled up the screen with these boys, haven't you? Oh, there's another gargoyle in here, too. Thank God we can get him before he becomes a massive issue, though. I see you in there. I can see that box shaking about. Still don't know why that happens, but it does, so got to deal with it. Oh, my God. Did you see that? Absolute. What the hell? There's an alarm going off. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Right. I actually, like, threaded the needle there. Right, you go away. 
Skelly Bob give me a keyring. Oh, nothing. <laughs> That's so close to a keyring. Right, good, good. Right, what have you got for us here in the shop? Please give me something brilliant. Yes. Yes, yes. Holy guacamole. And I'm saying that for both the quality of the shop and the item we got. Holy guacamole. That makes up for a lot. Oh, wait, there's... Should not be going for this guy while these bomb guys are here. Yeah, you're gone. Sorry. I did not realize that was there for the longest time. And then the bomb guy got me, sir. So. Not a good room to get that on at all. Please be good. Actually, that's really good. Cracked Orb is very, very nice. Once we throw, a, once we get a throw hit on an enemy, it then takes more damage after that. So basically, the combo... Wait, that did like a spray pattern? You do that, really? Just take all the damage in the world, why don't we? We took so much damage then. Biscuits is still activated, isn't it? I don't know. I don't give a damn, though. More exuberance. No cleave size available, though. Check if there's anything in here. Nope, this is the boss. Let's go back to our shop for that cash removal anyways. Yeah, I don't need your fire. I can do it myself. I'm a self-made man. Cares chest. Yep. Key rings and chests are empty. Wow, we got all the keys there. We've got 12. Chests are empty. I really hope we get rid of that one first. That's the suckiest of suckiest. Nope, that's not the right room. That's not where we want to be. Oh, nah. Please get rid of that one. Yes, empty cofters is the worst. Probably one of the worst curses, actually. To the next floor. Oh, spicy. I would take some spiciness from this guy. I am willing to put everything on the line. Yep, I'm I'm taking Chakram. I've never I've never used Chakram before, but with considering we have cracked orb, I know we've been building towards swing damage. We've taken like four exuberances now. But I've never used Chakram before and it seems amazing. God damn. We've got the exit right next to the entrance. I don't think I've ever had that before. Wait, what? Ah. Uh. Bloody hell. Let's just use this now. Because otherwise we're going to take a shit ton of damage. We're not going to get it, are we? Oh no, we are. We are. We got it. Wait, did we get it? I don't know. I can't... I don't even... I don't even know if we got it there. Did we get a blessing there? Right. Let's start building towards a better future. No. I'm glad that we've got swing stuff as well, though, because this means we're, like, multi, multicultural. <laughs> no, we can we can work in, like, multiple different ways. We don't just have to go for a uh, swing. We can go for throw as well. We do need to get rid of these cars. It's pretty, pretty sharpish, though. That's pretty good. Leeching life from enemies. The major shop cost isn't going to be great for us. But yeah, apparently Chakram's like broken OP, so definitely want to be using this. Wow, it is broken OP. Wowee. Did I, just take it? Did I take the 86 damage then? Or was that the enemy? I think it was the enemy. Good, good, good. Yeah, this seems pretty good. Seems pretty damn good. I will open that. A key for a trap chest. Worst trade deal ever. Look at that. Thing of beauty.
Yeah, fuck off, man. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm loving this. Right, I'm not going to do remove cares yet. Because I'm going to see if we can get rid of some cares removals in the shop. Might be able to get like an absolution or whatever. I definitely want to take some more biscuits. That'd be lovely. I will take some massive like damage ups for a thingy if I, if I get them, but otherwise I'll take cash removal. So let's go here. Let's go with... We've got throw speed and damage. I'll just remove there. Um, we've got damage again. I'll remove that. I want, I want throw a size. If we can get throw a size, then I'd be happy. I'll just remove again. Remove again. Okay, good. And we're almost up to level three here, which is really good for us. Let's go buy some stuff from the HP H shop. No, you know what I mean. I was almost correct. I was close at least. Now we have a money duplicator and a stuff duplicator. We need to duplicate cash removals if we get them. What a what a horrendous room this is. That was a horrendous room. I hated that. Thank God it opened this up for us. Please be something brilliant. Please don't be a trap chest. Hey, is that a heal for every curse that you have? Not very good for us, but... Yeah. Not very good for us. I'll save it for later, though. I'm not getting one healing a second. That's not very useful at all. Right. Go down to the next floor. We've got some gold here that we can take. I think we're pretty much set for this floor. Thank God we got biscuits at like the most perfect time ever there as well. Yeah, I can't believe this is the first time I've ever had Chakram. I've not really got the run for it particularly. Oh, I've got to remember I got Golden Tooth as well. I need, to be, I need to be picking up gold for healing more than anything. But yeah, like we've got enough of the run left to make Chakram work here. We're only on halls too. We've got like six more floors left basically. Oh my God, you got me. Fish? Where did that fish come from? Love it. Give me all the healing. Fuck you and your shit. Give me all the healing. Get off my healing. We can actually go over here and hit this as well. I probably forgot that I float boots in multiple rooms that I could have gone over gaps. Like, I mean, to be fair, this room, I could have just hid out over the gap. So that in itself is stupid. The fact that it's got piercing alone makes it so good. Oh my god. Stepped in the fire. The fire and the flames. Don't worry though. We'll get a little bit of that healing back from our gold here. You just got to be the right distance away from the enemy that, that you're attacking. There we go. We got him. Big Mongo boy. Pick up that stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, just the piercing alone. I mean, this with uh, with the fire is so good. This Salamander's tail is really good. I'm burning enemies up so, so, so fast. So much of a burn on you. Right, what you got for us? Swing damage at high health. I will take it because it is still very good. It's not exactly great for our situation right now. But like I said, we, we are going to be sort of going between swinging and throwing. Either way. Wait, do we have... Oh, we have Catalyst as well, so we're getting double healing from all of our gold tooth stuff. Even better. I'll take that. I'll take that. I wish we could drop just Chakram on the floor, then reroll out other stuff and try and get a better throw, but throw build. That'd be really good. I'm just gonna take that now that we have the uh, extra stuff. What, what does that even do? Attack speed. Okay, that's nothing for us. Not gonna do anything with that either. Away we go. Fortunately, no shrines this floor. Would have been nice. I really want to stack up some like 
throw... Sp I don't think we need throw speed, really. Low throw speed's fine with this. It's more we need throw size. If we get throw size up, so this thing will get crazy. Wowie. Am I on fire right now? No, I'm fine. Wow, they split up really far. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm guessing them guys can't be set on fire. Right, what do you got for us? Ugh. Stop it with the absolutely no relics. It's bummed me out. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take that. Bring that with me. Annoying noises forever. Yay. There's, there's what we need. All right, stop it, you. Right, let him, let him fire. And get that on him for a bit. There we go. If we're critting, it's just easy, easy streets. Wait, oh, there's another fucking... Oh, he moved straight away. I was hoping I could bait him into a, a pretty good move there. I just killed him as soon as he spawned, but he, he, he knew. He knew. Right. Gust. And throw damage. Hey, there we go. That's what we needed. The level up's good stuff. Savagery. So we get an extra two. Go up to five. And that, there you go. Ho -ho. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we are getting somewhere. Too bad we couldn't have taken a uh, gust there uh, at double size. That would have been great. But yeah, as you can see, now it's it's a decent size. Even with just one gust, it's a decent size. We don't actually need the healing right now, but I'm taking the gold anyways. Make sure we keep, keep on top of our gold situation anytime. Oh my god, stop. Wait, let's go. Throw. Release. There we go. Ho 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 ho. That is satisfying. Chakram's the best. Wow, this is a room and a half. This is a room and a half. We basically hit everything with uh, the cracked orb though. I'm guessing the cracked orb affects damage done by throwing as well. I'm assuming it does. Oh, there's another pot alive. I didn't realize. I thought I killed that one. What you got for us? Bramble Vest. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Bramble Vest. Why do you keep showing up? No one likes you. Anything that requires you to take damage to to keep going, it's just, it's just bad. We'll do this. I'm definitely happy about that considering it basically gave us a key back. Maybe should have used my doubler on that. It's fine, though. Give me that back. Let's go down to the next floor. Last one of this floor. Please, please, please give us a shrine on this next floor. I'd be so happy. I'd be so happy. I know I'm leaving gold about, but don't worry about it. We've got plenty. It's fine. I'm really hoping we get an absolution here so we can just remove a shit ton of chests at once. Alright. Oh, this could be so good for Ponzu. Because we got all the swing speed and the, the chakram and everything. I'll take it. It's not the best, but I'll take it. Let's just keep on moving on. I'm actually going to blow this up as well because I think it's a thingy. It wasn't. I thought it was maybe the secret room, but it wasn't. Oh, got him with a crit. Yes, boy. That's done, done, done. Loving this run. This run's so much fun. Right. Let's do that. Of course he moves straight away, but don't worry, the We got him. Haha, -ha, you can't escape me. Yeah, this was going to be a cleave run. 
But all things turned around. Chakram came into my life. It took me by the hand. Made me a man. That one night. She made everything alright. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. And just get the hell out of there. That was a really good decision there. And I'm gonna do it again. And I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Very glad I did that. That made life a lot easier for myself. Jump down here too. And it found a secret room too. Can't, can't complain about finding a secret room for free. Unfortunately, I can complain about the fact that we found a really shit secret room that had one bomb in it, which is basically what I paid for it. That is not a good value proposition right now. Oh my god, this room. Thank god he's dead, but also this room. Any room that has, like, one of these chunky bastards and a bunch of other flying boys in it, it's just... It's sad times. Sad times, McGee. But yeah, this is this on its own is going to help us find some secret rooms too. Because it's going to reveal the little sparkles on the wall. We've already beaten that boss. Please shop. Please be brilliant. Please be brilliant. Please be brilliant. Kurt's stash. I will take it because it could be good later. All in all... This isn't very good for us. I will do this, though, so we can open everything up in the future runs. Damn. Shop, why you not be better? Why you not be better? Uh, jump. I do like the fact that you can jump in as well as click, like, to go down. It's nice. I like. So, we've got an okay chance of winning right now. We, we don't have particularly good throw damage, and it's not the best Chakram, but also Chakram on its own is pretty good. We've got 61 throw damage, which is pretty damn low, to be fair. We do have a throw damage down as well. No cash removal at all. Did I just buy one of these bloody things rather than a... Ugh, I bought one of them fucking healing things rather than a bloody shop and a bottle. I'm sad about that. Buy an anti matter, take that down with us. Ugh, I've got so much stuff. I'll come back for you, anti matter. I'll come back for you. Hey, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Right, let's let's hope these these uh blessings really sort us out here. Oh, yes. Everything died there. Absolutely everything died. Open this up. Please have something brilliant. I'm just going to take all... I'm not going to care about curses unless I get some really bad ones. More damage. Just because we're getting double blessings, I just have to go for them. Right. Gotta go for all that damage. Got nine up. What did that what did that part of damage do? From 61 to 79. That's pretty good. It's a solid increase. These guys are chunky though. Very chunky. Lots of HP. Don't worry, we're getting plenty of HP back. Plenty of HP. That's pretty good for us. I'll definitely take that. With our uh, increased swing size and all that jazz, it's pretty good for us. Yeah, I actually don't care about the decrease throw speed from the curse. Wow, that guy's a piece of shit. Got him. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care about the decrease throw speed from the cares because it really doesn't affect Chakram too much at all. Because once it's at its location, it's good to go. Obviously, getting there is a bit slower, but... Who gives a damn about that? Weird, weirdly bad secret rooms so far. Especially the, the underground cavern ones, the, the staircase ones. They've been weirdly bad. Good, good. Trapped. Terrible. Whoa, that made a horrible noise. And it gave me a bomb. And it hurt me. Strange. Strange, strange, strange. Ow. 
Ow. Let's just do this. How? You're not dead. We really need to go back for that antimatter, but at the same time, I just can't be asked. It's so far. Risk it for a biscuit. Can't be asked. I can't be bothered to min max if it's going to take me that long to get back to the shop. Basically, I'm holding. I'm holding on to two of these popcorn kernels in case we get a cash removal in our shop. Oh my god. Exploding crystals are the worst. Come on. Oh, just a little closer. Just move a little closer. Come on. Fire damage is nuts. Hey, thank you for the money, though. And I'll... Well, I say the money. The money and the HP, technically. Let's get our reroll out. Yes. Yes. I think that does like 20 damage a hit, apparently, so pretty good. Seems like that'd be pretty damn useful. Rock bomb boy. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy, he's thick. Yeah, that seems really useful. Get in here. Please have a cash removal. You bastard. I'll take that, though. God damn you. You have nothing good, dear. No cash removal. I mean, right now. Oh, I don't want to give up anything, though. That, that's really good for us right now. <laughs> but these are also really good for removing curses. I'm sad. I want my potion slots, game. I might just get rid of the reroll and stick with what I get in the future. Thanks for duplicating. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get rid of my reroll. Just... Stick with what I get and deal with it. That that thing, if we end up keeping our curses, is too valuable to, to not take down with us. We're going to be getting so much healing per um, per second. It's just it's just far too good to pass up on. Thank you. We've got to look out for a gold doubling room as well here. Okay, yeah, the fact that that, that fan knife thing can trigger out. There goes. Smacking that, that back at him is really nice. Yeah, them guys weren't, weren't just smacking about. No, thank you. I do not want to be wasting HP right now. My HP already isn't the best, and getting hit there isn't the best either. Right. Down we go. I am ready. I am ready. Okay. Okay. Fuck it. We're just going to keep piling them on. Piling them on. Curse me plenty. You watch me get a terrible, terrible, terrible curse. Get like a really bad one. Do you know what? So far, we just got tons of throw speed down. But I don't care about that. Does that reduce our range as well? Seems to a bit. That's actually really helpful with Chakram, I think. So I'm very happy with that. Yeah, it means that when things hover over enemies, we can, like, hold the, on them for much longer, which is really nice. I really like that, actually. <laughs> Thank you for giving me such good curses. Oh, Rook Bomb guy in this room? Are you kidding me? At least Rook Bombs we can get out of the way with, effectively, because we know the pattern they're going to make. Oh my god, could you want to throw any more kids? Would have been a good room to do some doubling on that. I didn't actually realise there was an enemy left in here. Apparently so. Yeah, I could have doubled up on that room, but... I forgot. Yes! The poison is great. But yeah, the only the only really curse that's affecting us badly is that one. The reduced health. And the reduced healing, actually, is, helping, is hurting us a bit, too. Right. Let's... Remove a curse. See what we end up removing. Yes, we removed a great one. Good, good, good. Right. 
Let's do that, that, that. Uh, is there anything we can deal with getting rid of right now? I'm going to get rid of that. It's stupid, I know, because we could get some crazy cash removals going on. But I'm going to do it, because now we've got two of these things. And now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got 11 curses stacked up. So that's 11 healing a second, and we've got two of those. I don't know if we can stack them. I don't know if we can use both at the same time. But that's still really good. I really don't want to get rid of any more curses, in fact. The only reason I'd get rid of them is if I like take a major curse next floor, which you watch I end up will. I will end up doing that. Ooh, almost hurt myself pretty badly there. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Healing up to full. Only lost about 5,000 over the course of this run so far, so that's pretty good. And we're going to be killing the boss, which is going to give us a decent amount too. Oh, that was a really stupid move by me there. Should not have done that. Could have known that... Well, I did know that... Okay, that's just a trap. I'm not even going to bother. Nah, I am going to bother. Yeah. I got a bit out of him. This will be our gold doubling room. It's not great, but... It will be. I really should have broken that thing before I did it, but... This will be our gold doubling room. It gave us, like, 4,000 gold. That's pretty decent. It could have been a little better if I'd smashed this first. Don't worry about it, though, boys. Don't worry about it. Small errors. Only small errors here. Alright, what you got for us? Nothing of value. Thanks. Right, to the down to the next floor. We probably won't have any shrines this floor, but we could do. This is a pretty quick run, to be fair. I know we haven't done any bosses, but it's still pretty quick. Considering we've not, we've, we've, we have been taking it slow in some areas. Okay, so let's just play the game. Clear, clear out space. Once we get status effects on them, it's pretty damn good. Oh, damn. Oh, the whale. I'm pretty sure whale and boots protected us against those guys anyways. So I'm actually pretty alright with that. Good, good. I'm going to test this. Okay, that, that did still damage me a lot. I don't know exactly what happened there. But that did still damage me a lot. Maybe the initial hit still hurts. Sort of thing. I don't know. That still hurt a lot though. Should not have done that. It's coming for you. The slowest boy... Slowest boy in town's coming for you. And that, that right there is pretty perfect. That right there is pretty perfect. Okay, I'm going to be very careful here because everything poisons in this room right now. When the spiders are about, everything poisons. And one of them just fell off the edge. All right, mate, I guess. That's your prerogative, I guess. I want to try and keep all my curses. I, I might just not even take any more blessings unless it's something really good, like massively increased size. Yeah, we don't even get the chance. Good, good. We've got a shot coming up here, but that's it. Good, good. I'm loving this. This is a great build. We have a chance here. We have a chance. With the resurrect, we have a chance. Nothing in there. One shop could be good to us, maybe. Not very good. We could remove a bunch of curses here, but I honestly don't think we want to. Hey, another book. Oh, love regeneration. Yes. Uh, I'm going to do that and reroll. No, I didn't get anything majorly better there. Let's just go down. Be happy. Um, so, I'm just going to use that now because I don't need it inside there. And we've got two of these. So this should heal us for quite a lot. I'll, I'll save them for when I need them. Should heal us for a decent amount. I could even save them until my resurrection. I might do that, you know. I might save them until my resurrection. Oh, that was close. Right, got to try and get into the right distance to, like, multi-hit him. Try, I think if I'm in the middle... It'll, yeah, always end right on him. 
try and get as much out of this as I can. And then take on these bad boys. Okay, as long as I'm in the middle, I can get it lined up perfectly. I'm just going to keep that there now. If he's just dropping enemies that nearby, I'm just going to let that deal damage for now. And then when he does something else, there you go. That's when I'll deal with these. I love that. You can get right in the middle and it's perfect. And you bring that back. Do that. God damn, them things are so beefy. This is pretty good build. I like this a lot. Okay, we've got a few enemies. Don't let them stack up, so... Let's play it safe. Let's take them out. That's a little bit far, but it's still getting nice. And the crits are really good. Not doing insane damage, really, but it's doing enough. I'm loving my Chakram right now. As long as he doesn't spawn too many annoying enemies, I can let him be for a little bit. That one out there, I'm just going to have to leave. He's a bit of a problem, but... I think I killed it there. No, not quite. Oh, damn it. That was bad. That was really bad. Yeah, we do get invincibility when we resurrect, so we have time to pop our potion. I don't know if we can pop birth and it'll be better or what. Damn you. On 9 HP right now. Try and take out these bad boys. I'm liking the fact that poisoning and slowing them quite a lot as well. That's really nice. That didn't even reach. What the hell? Let's just play the game and get these guys. That's good. I don't know why I didn't reach last time there. I was just must have been just a little bit too far away. Let's leave that there for a little bit. Let it do its thing for a bit. There you go. We've got to remember we've got the uh, the lucky foot thing as well that we started with. Okay, let's let's do some damage control here. Oh my god, I'm gonna yeah. Thank God for the lucky thing. It got me. It saved me. And I, and it saved me again. It gives me invincibility as well. I just noticed that. Oh god, this is this is not particularly good. Oh my god, I actually died there. In comes the resurrect. Right, as soon as this resurrect pops, pop both our potions. I don't know how that actually works for us here. Damn it. Oh my god, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. I might die here. Yeah, fuck's sake. I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. God damn it. I'm dumb. Ah, uh, I tried to pop both potions thinking I'd have long enough with the invincibility. I did not. Uh, unfortunately, I while taking the second potion, I got hit by a poison spider. The poison damage was ticking, I panicked, I jumped, and I jumped directly into the path of that laser beam breath and died. Sadly, sadly enough, but we did really well there and that was definitely going to be a win had I not taken the first. It was that like wombo combo of dying, resurrecting, uh, well dying, getting saved by Lucky Foot. I expected to die the second time but I got thingy by Lucky Foot so I just kind of took my hands off the controller briefly and it, it just spiralled out of control from there. We took down all of our gold with the circus we had sewing kit. Still on 55,000. Not too bad at all. We're definitely getting there, but these are going to be harder levels now. But yeah, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.